In object-oriented computer programming, a null object is an object with defined neutral behavior. The null object design pattern describes the uses of such objects and their behavior. It was first published in the Pattern Languages of Program Design book series. Motivation, in most object-oriented languages, such as Java or C, references may be null. These references need to be checked to ensure they are not null before invoking any methods, because methods typically cannot be invoked on null references. The Objective-C language takes another approach to this problem and does nothing when sending a message to nil. If a return value is expected, nil, zero, no, or a struct with all its members initialized to nil no zero initialized struct is returned. Description Instead of using a null reference to convey absence of an object, one uses an object which implements the expected interface, but whose method body is empty. The advantage of this approach over a working default implementation is that a null object is very predictable and has no side effects, it does nothing. For example, a function may retrieve a list of files in a folder and perform some action on each. In the case of an empty folder, one response may be to throw an exception or return a null reference rather than a list. Thus, the code which expects a list must verify that it in fact has one before continuing, which can complicate the design. By returning a null object instead, there is no need to verify that the return value is in fact a list. The calling function may simply iterate the list as normal, effectively doing nothing. It is, however, still possible to check whether the return value is a null object and react differently if desired. The null object pattern can also be used to act as a stub for testing, if a certain feature such as a database is not available for testing. Example, given a binary tree, with this node structure. Class node, node left, node right. One may implement a tree size procedure recursively. Function tree size, node, return 1 plus tree size, node left, plus tree size, node right. Since the child nodes may not exist, one must modify the procedure by adding non-existence or null checks. Function tree size, node, set sum equals 1, if node left exists, sum equals sum plus tree size, node left, if node right exists, sum equals sum plus tree size, node right, return sum. This however makes the procedure more complicated by mixing boundary checks with normal logic, and it becomes harder to read. Using the null object pattern, one can create a special version of the procedure but only for null nodes. Function tree size, node, return 1 plus tree size, node left, plus tree size, node right. Function tree size, null node, return 0. This separates normal logic from special case handling and makes the code easier to understand. Relation to other patterns, it can be regarded as a special case of the state pattern in the strategy pattern. It is not a pattern from design patterns, but is mentioned in Martin Fowler's Refactoring and Joshua Karivsky's book on refactoring and the insert null object refactoring. Chapter 17 is dedicated to the pattern in Robert Cecil Martin's Agile Software Development, Principles, Patterns and Practices. Alternatives. Equals extension methods and null coalescing equals, in some Microsoft.NET languages, extension methods can be used to perform what is called null coalescing. This is because extension methods can be called on null values as if it concerns an instance method invocation while in fact extension methods are static. Extension methods can be made to check for null values, thereby freeing code that uses them from ever having to do so. Note that the example below uses the C null coalescing operator to guarantee error-free invocation, where it could also have used a more mundane if, then, else. In various languages, equals C++ equals, a language with statically typed references to objects illustrates how the null object becomes a more complicated pattern. Here, the idea is that there are situations where a pointer or reference to an animal object is required but there is no appropriate object available. A null reference is impossible in standard conforming C++. A null animal pointer is possible, and could be useful as a placeholder, but may not be used for direct dispatch. A make sound is undefined behavior if A is a null pointer.
The null object pattern solves this problem by providing a special null animal class which can be instantiated bound to an animal pointer or reference. The special null class must be created for each class hierarchy that is to have a null object, since a null animal is of no use when what is needed is a null object with regard to some widget base class that is not related to the animal hierarchy. Note that not having a null class at all is an important feature, in contrast to languages where anything is a reference. In C++, the design of a functional method may explicitly state whether null is allowed or not. Equals C equals, C is a language in which the null object pattern can be properly implemented. This example shows animal objects that display sounds and a null animal instance used in place of the C null keyword. The null object provides consistent behavior and prevents a runtime null reference exception that would occur if the C null keyword were used instead. Equals small talk equals, following the small talk principle, everything is an object, the absence of an object is itself modeled by an object, called nil. In the GNU small talk for example, the class of nil is undefined object, a direct descendant of object. Any operation that fails to return a sensible object for its purpose may return nil instead, thus avoiding the special case of returning no object. This method has the advantage of simplicity over the classical null, or no object, or null reference approach. Especially useful messages to be used with nil are is nil or if nil, which make it practical and safe to deal with possible references to nil in small talk programs. Equals common lisp equals, in lisp. Functions can gracefully accept the special object nil, which reduces the amount of special case testing in application code. For instance although nil is an atom and does not have any fields, the functions car and cdr accept nil and just return it, which is very useful and results in shorter code. Since nil is the empty list in Lisp, the situation described in the introduction above doesn't exist. Code which returns nil is returning what is in fact the empty list so the caller does not need to test the value to see whether or not it has a list. The null object pattern is also supported in multiple value processing. If the program attempts to extract a value from an expression which returns no values, the behavior is that the null object nil is substituted. Thus, returns. The expression returns no values at all, but since the function call to list needs to reduce its argument expression to a value, the null object is automatically substituted. Equals CLOS equals, in common lisp, the object nil is the one and only instance of the special class null. What this means is that a method can be specialized to the null class, thereby implementing the null design pattern. Which is to say, it is essentially built into the object system. The class null is a subclass of the symbol class, because nil is a symbol. Since nil also represents the empty list, Null is a subclass of the list class too. Methods parameters specialized to symbol or list will thus take a nil argument. Of course, a null specialization can still be defined which is a more specific match for nil. Equals scheme equals, unlike common lisp, and many dialects of lisp, the scheme dialect does not have a nil value which works this way. The functions car and cdr may not be applied to an empty list. Scheme application code therefore has to use the empty or pair predicate functions to sidestep this situation, even in situations where very similar list would not need to distinguish the empty and non-empty cases thanks to the behavior of nil. Equals Ruby equals, in duck type languages like Ruby, language inheritance is not necessary to provide expected behavior. Attempts to directly monkey patch nil class instead of providing explicit implementations give more unexpected side effects than benefits. Equals JavaScript equals, in duck type languages like JavaScript, language inheritance is not necessary to provide expected behavior. Equals Java equals. This code illustrates a variation of the C++ example, above, using the Java language. As with C++, a null class can be instantiated in situations where a reference to an animal object is required, but there is no appropriate object available. A null animal object is possible and could be useful as a placeholder, but may not be used for calling a method. In this example, my animal makes sound. We'll throw a null pointer exception, 
therefore, additional code may be necessary to test for null objects. The null object pattern solves this problem by providing a special null animal class which can be instantiated as an object of type animal. As with C++ and related languages, that special null class must be created for each class hierarchy that needs a null object, since a null animal is of no use when what is needed is a null object that does not implement the animal interface. Equals PHP equals equals Visual Basic .net equals the following null object pattern implementation demonstrates the concrete class providing its corresponding null object in a static field empty. This approach is frequently used in the .NET framework. Criticism, this pattern should be used carefully as it can make errors bugs appear as normal program execution. Care should be taken not to implement this pattern just to avoid null checks and make code more readable, since the harder to read code may just move to another place and be less standard, such as when different logic must execute in case the object provided is indeed the null object. The common pattern in most languages with reference types is to compare a reference to a single value referred to as null or nil. Also, there is additional need for testing that no code anywhere ever assigns null instead of the null object, because in most cases and languages with static typing, this is not a compiler error if the null object is of a reference type, although it would certainly lead to errors at runtime in parts of the code where the pattern was used to avoid null checks. On top of that, in most languages and assuming there can be many null objects, checking for the null object instead of for the null or nil value introduces overhead, as does the singleton pattern likely itself upon obtaining the singleton reference. See also, nullable type, option type. External links, Jeffrey Walker's account of the null object pattern, Martin Fowler's description of special case, a slightly more general pattern, null object pattern revisited, Introduce Null Object Refactoring, Why Null is Bad by Jäger Bugayenko, Source Making Tutorial, Null Object Pattern in Swift. References, Wolf, Bobby. Null Object. In Martin, Robert. Real, Dirk. Bushman, Frank. Pattern Languages of Program Design 3. Addison Wesley. Working with Objects. IO's Developer Library. Apple. Incorporated December 13, 2012. Retrieved May 19, 2014. Fowler, Martin. Refactoring. Improving the design of existing code. Addison Wesley. ISBN 0-201-48567-2. Karibsky, Joshua. Refactoring to Patterns. Addison Wesley. ISBN 0-321-21335-1. Martin, Robert. Agile Software Development, Principles, Patterns and Practices. Pearson Education. ISBN 0-13-597444-5. Fowler, Martin. Refactoring Pages 216.